Hello, hello. Hi, class. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Oye, están bien shy, están bien callados. How are you, class? Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening. evening. <laughs> Hi, Ivan. Hi, Ivan. How are you? Here I am, okay. Yes, here we are again, you know. Como que fue hace un par de horas que lo vi. El tiempo vuela, <laughs> time parece. flies, right? Exactly. Así se ve el tiempo. ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Was it good, bad, busy? How was your day? Eh, today was busy. Busy. All the day. Yeah, busy, busy day. Busy. Very busy. Yes. Wow. I'm teacher. Really? You're a teacher? Yes. Ok, entonces entiende yes. Iván cómo es la vida de un teacher. ¿Quién más es un teacher acá? ¿No? ¿Nadie más? ¿Qué, ¿De qué es maestro Iván? ¿Maestro de qué? Eh, computación y, ¿Mm? eh, e instructor de deportes. Go, oh, great job. Dos, dos cargos tengo. De educación física, increíble. Sí, sí, claro. Es difícil ser maestro, pero es algo muy bonito. A mí me encanta. I really love you, ¿no? Y eso que sí, no es mi trabajo principal. This is not my ah. real job. This is my job at night. <ríe> mi trabajo es otro. Okay, pero okay. I really It's love it. Job. It's my secondary job, yes. Okay. But I really love teaching, you know. Really nice to see you. Ya tenemos a 12, 12 students. Y los demás que se me hicieron. Where are you? Okay. Yesterday we were practicing. ¿Qué practicamos ayer? Who can remember? Nadie se acuerda. ¿Qué, qué practicamos ayer? What was the topic from yesterday? Question with how ah, and questions. short answers. Ajá. Questions with how. Y teníamos cuatro preguntas with how. Do you remember those questions? How, how often? often? How, how, how long? How long? How, long? how, long? how well? How How, how good. How well and how good. good. Mm -hmm. yeah. There we go. So let's practice a couple of questions right now. Let me show you the platform. ¿Cuántos sabemos ya? Mm, 14, yes. Okay, uh, Genesis. Gracias, Genesis, por indicarnos. Muy bien, no se preocupe, Genesis. Here we go. Acuérdense, cámaras on, solo para los que me han justificado, cámara que no pueden tener su cámara encendida. El resto sí. It's just one hour. So, aquí estamos. Um, no, este no es su grupo. El alfabet. No, no, vamos a ver eso ahora. Don't worry. El alfabet. Let me see. This is pre-intermediate too. Okay, questions with how. We were practicing four different questions. How well? ¿Cuál era la diferencia entre esas dos? How good and how well? Once again. Chicos, me escuchan bien. Creo que está fallando mi inter un poquito. Sí, se lo escucha bien. Sí, se escucha bien. Ah, bueno, yo escucho cortado a algunos de ustedes. Y esta es la imagen guía que quiero que tengamos. How often do you work out? Every day, twice a week, not very often. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well, about average, not very well. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day, two hours a week, about an hour on weekends. How good are you at sports? Mm, pretty good. Okay. Not so good. So please, practiquemos mucho estas cuatro preguntas. Son muy útiles para obtener información. ¿Qué tipo de información? Frequency, right? And performance. Frequency and performance. The activity, the first activity that we have for today It's going to be uh, taken from section number two. Vamos a ir a la sección número dos, si quieren practicar. Here you're going to find the topic from today. Here we go. 
Ok, en la sección 2 tenemos eh, igual pocos temas que cubrir, pero muy necesarios. Listen, aquí sí nos vamos a divertir un poquito, vamos a algo sorprendiendo. About what? ¿Qué creen que vamos a repasar en section number 2? ¿Qué creen que vamos a practicar? Uh, not anymore, ya no, no more adverse of frequency. Ve aquí una pista, dice, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation about two people and the activities they did during the past weekend. Vamos a meternos ya al pasado, simple. Y ahí hay mucho que repasar. So, this is the conversation that we are going to have. Look, what do you see in the pictures? Antes de que escuchemos, ¿qué creen que hicieron ellos? What did they do last weekend? ¿Qué creen que hizo no. ella el last weekend? Dice que fue al cara a un cara a un bar y yeah, okay. cantaron con los amigos el día um, sábado y el otro dice que fue um, dice but, que estudió todo okay. el día español but now in English miren antes de escuchar ah. quiero que busquen información específica excelente está muy bien José Alexander now in English what did she do Quiero ver, sería, she went to the karaoke bar and sang with some friend on Saturday. Great job, great job. And in the case of him, what did he do? He studied at home for Spanish test. For the Spanish test. Great job. Now let's listen. Muy bien, muy buena información. Here we go. Hi to all, welcome to section 7. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So. What did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Wow, let's listen again to this conversation. Here we go. Hi to all, welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Okay, so what is this conversation about? Ahora sí, ya lo escucharon de qué se trata. What is this conversation, this conversation about? Will walk us through activities. Okay. As you listen to the conversation. Who is right having down. the conversation? Entre quién es esta conversación? Who is having this conversation? Between mm -hmm. Rick and Meg. Between Rick and Meg. Meg. And what did she do? What did Meg do in the last weekend? What did she do? She did went she? to a karaoke All bar. All right. So did she study for the test? 
No, she's not. Probably no, she didn't study. In the case of Rick, did he go to a karaoke? A karaoke last no, week? No, he didn't. So what did he do? He studied he for studied uh, Spanish for... test. Exactly, he studied for the Spanish Study. test. When is the Spanish test taking place? When are they going to have the Spanish test? Today. Okay, yeah, in the conversation it means today, right. So please, help me out. Ayúdenme a identificar los verbs in past. Todos los verbos en pasado que vean. Regular or irregular verbs. Go did. Oh, uh, okay. Did is an auxiliary. But yes, let's take it as a verb. When. 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 Let me, let's just let me do something. Wait, you just wait. Okay. You said did. What is the other had. one? When. When. Okay, had. had. I had a great time. Mm -hmm. Went. Had. I went. Yes. Sang. 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 Please, everybody, yeah. todos. Sang. ¿Qué otro ven por ahí? Sang. Sang. Mm. Where? Which one? Stay. Stay Where is home? it? Uh, stay. I ah, okay. stay. 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 I do stay. stay. Oh, study. 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 Forgot. 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 And that's it, right? Forgot. 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 So what is your opinion? ¿Cuáles son regular and irregular? ¿Saben identificar ya eso? Irregular and regular. Hard. Oh. Is this a regular or irregular? Hard. Irregular. Okay. When? Irregular. Okay. Sang. Irregular. Irregular. Stay. Regular. 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 Regular and Regular. forgot. Irregular. Regular. Okay. Irregular. So, para que no olviden cuáles son los regulares y por qué se le llama regular. Teacher, I can hear you. You cannot? Chicos, me escuchan. Who can hear me? Yes. Yes, yes I can, can hear you. Yes. yes, I can hear you, teacher. You can or can't? I can. I don't know. I can. You can, right? So I don't know what's going on. So the regular verbs are the ones that are going to finish with IED. Well, well ED. Pongamos ED. ED. Esos son los regular. Y los irregular, they are going to change. It's not going to be the same verb anymore. Van a cambiar. So, esos son los regulars. So, ED. ED at the end of the verb. So, did you do anything special? Probably in the case of Meg, she did something special. In the case of Rick, he didn't. Simple past. Uh, vamos a introducir el pres. El, I'm sorry, the past. El pasado simple. Porque tenemos diferentes formas en ese tiempo en el pasado. Okay, in this case, it's going to be the simple past. And we are going to listen to some examples. Here we go and then we practice. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? 
He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Okay, very clear information. So let me to recap. The beach. Did he broke the window? Used it. As you may see, see whenever next? we use this structure or whenever we are using interrogative, interrogative statements, we are going to use the auxiliary did all the time that we want to formulate a question using the past. We really need to use this auxiliary. Los verbos auxiliares en inglés hay muchos este es uno de ellos el did y recuerden whenever we have an auxiliary the verb or the main verb is not going to change example for example did you go to the beach did he break the window what do you see here we have the verb in the base form el verbo está en infinitivo exactly go then we have the other verb right here break porque los auxiliares no me permiten cambiar el verbo no importa si tengo tercera persona he she or it it is going to be in the base form okay porque hablamos del pasado tengo un auxiliar did you go did he go, did I go, did we go, no importa el sujeto, the verb is going to stay in the based form, okay? Ese es el primer tema importante, el primer punto. Then we have the answers. Of course, if I have a question, I need to have an answer. ¿Qué respuesta doy? Si tengo una pregunta, puede ser affirmative or negative response. Yes, I did. No, I don't. Okay, aquí está la explanation. For short answers in affirmative and negative and simple past, we must use did. Si me preguntan con el auxiliar did, voy a responder usando el auxiliar did. Y así funciona el inglés. Si me preguntan con el auxiliar can, por ejemplo, can you swing? Can you sing? ¿Con qué auxiliar voy a responder? No, I cannot. Okay. Yes, Con el can. mismo auxiliar. Yes, o negativo. I no, I can't. Muy bien. Y le digo porque muchas veces cuando tenemos el auxiliar have, me responden con algo más. Have you been in Paris? ¿Han estado en París, chicos? Si es afirmativo, algunos quieren decir, yes, I did, or I went to Paris. No, ¿cuál es lo correcto? Auxiliar con auxiliar. ¿Cuál sería esto? Yes, I. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Exactly. So, remember that. Acuérdense de eso, es muy importante. Siempre 
con el auxiliar que me están consultando mi respuesta. En este caso, me están preguntando con did mi respuesta. Affirmative, did, negative, didn't. Right? didn't. ¿Mm? Y así con todos los auxiliares. Si me preguntan con can, respondo con can. Can or can't, right? Así funciona. Igual, si me preguntan con el verb to be, tengo que ocupar en mis respuestas el verb to be, affirmative or negative. Right? And in the case of the short answers, no importa el sujeto que tengamos, es la misma estructura. Yes, I did. Yes, we did. Yes, you did. Okay? Negative. No, I didn't. No, we didn't. No, they didn't. So it's very easy to use. A simple pass with the auxiliary is quite easy to use. Right. Y es más fácil porque no cambia mi verbo cuando tengo un auxiliary. The most difficult part is whenever we make affirmative or negative sentences. Aquí es más difícil porque aquí tengo que cambiar ya mis verbos, ¿ok? So they went, they went to the park. What is the base form of went? ¿Quién sabe? La forma base de went. Go. Ah, ok. They go to the park. They went to the park last weekend. So go, the pass of go. Went. How about woke up? ¿Cuál es la forma? Wake. Wake. Wake up. Wake up. I woke up late this morning. Wake up, woke up. Came. What is the base form of came? Come. 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 So, what do you see? Tenemos tres ejemplos de regular or irregular verbs. Todos estos son que irregular, irregular, yes. Irregular, this is an irregular, this is an irregular, and this is an irregular. So they went, I woke up, she came. Okay, so what are we going to do? Mm, there's no other way. Creo que no hay otra forma más que practice. Try to memorize the verbs in the simple past. Tengo una lista que le voy a compartir with the simple past of verbs, regular and irregular verbs. Look what we have here. And I need you to practice, okay? At least five verbs every day. And I really like this one because we even have the pronunciation. Miren, en el caso de los irregulares, irregular verbs. Tenemos acá el infinitive form. Let me make it bigger. And we have the simple past. Si es necesario que eh, prestemos atención ahorita solo al simple past. En el intermedio, let me see, intermedio 1. Ya incluimos esto. The past participle. Hasta ahí entra este, esta columna. But as of right now, please try to memorize the infinitive form and the simple past, right? Que sería lo más difícil, los irregular verbs. Y aquí tengo una buena cantidad de irregular verbs. In the case of regular, we really need to practice pronunciation. Miren, con los regulars, no, lo difícil no es la, la escritura, sino la pronunciation. Because we have three different forms or three different sounds in English. Hay tres formas diferentes de pronunciar un verbo regular en pasado. Y these sounds, we have the T sound and we also have the D sound at the end, right? So let's practice. Before I forget, antes que olvide, les comparto esto, right? And I need to check the attendance list right now. 
questions, comments? Pregunta, chicos, con el simple past. Ok. No, no questions. How do you feel this topic? Easy or difficult? Difficult. For la memory. Easy for you. Easy for, for you, start. ok. Por memorizar tanto verbo. Sí, a veces lo hacemos de forma inconsciente o ya los manejamos sin saber, ¿ok? Pero sí es necesario practicar. That's it. So, did you get, did you get the PDF document? Yes? Did you get it? Yes. You did. So, let me check the attendance list. Please say here or present. If you hear your name, vamos a ver clase de 8 a 9. Where are you guys? Aquí están. Andrea Gabriela. Present teacher. Ok, Andrea, thank you. Carlos Edgardo. Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Carmen Lizeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Rebeca. Claudia Rebeca Orellana. Edwin Edgardo. Edwin Edgardo Alarcón. Esmeralda Isabel. Present teacher. Ok. Francisco Antonio. Francisco Antonio Calderón. Génesis Ariel. Génesis Ariel Pacheco. Iván Ibrahim Ramírez. Here I am. Ok. Excellent Génesis. Ya lo vi. Thank you, Iván. Jennifer Tatiana. Present teacher. Ok, Jennifer. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Ok, Jorge. José Alberto. Present. Ok, José. José Alexander. Present teacher. Ok, José. Karina Alejandra. Present teacher. Ok, Karina. Carla Lisette. Carla Lisette Martínez. Carla Stephanie Rivera. Present teacher. Ok, Carla. Catherine Iracema. Present. Okay, Catherine. Leticia Aide. Present. Okay. Linda Beatriz. Present. Okay, Linda. Luis Eduardo. I'm here. Okay, Luis. Mayra Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay, Mayra. Maria Dolores. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Maritza Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok. Excelente. Carla Lisette. Ahí está. Ok, Carla, no se preocupe. Melissa Stephanie. Present. Ok, Melissa. Romeo Vladimir. Present. Ok, Romeo. Wendy Paola. Present teacher. Ok, Wendy and Jessica Esmeralda. Present teacher. Okay, Jessica. So who's missing? Um, missing Francisco Antonio, Edwin Edgardo, Claudia Rebeca, and Carlos Edgardo. Okay, and that's it. Right, so let me go to the PowerPoint presentation so we can present the topic for today. Look what we have here. We are going to practice in this class simple past but specifically questions questions and answers using the simple past right so this is class number three for si quieren tomar nota en este orden vamos okay the simple past and here we have the same information as in the video right whenever we talk about interrogative statements que dijimos we are going to use the auxiliary did 
what is going to happen to the verb, it is not going to change. It is going to remain in the same form, in the base form, okay? So the examples that we have here. Romeo, can you help me out reading the questions and the replies? Okay. Oh, please. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. Right. No, I didn't. I didn't work all day, at, day at, at all, sorry. Okay, I didn't work at all. Wendy Paola, continue, please. Okay, teacher. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. Went to the movies? No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. Great job. Jessica, Jessica Martinez, continue. With this one. What did Neil do on Saturday? He stayed, stayed home stayed. and studied for a test. He stayed home and studied for a test. Great job. And the last one. Who do I have here? Carla Stephanie. Please. Uh, how do you, how do you Cara spend her weekend? Mm -hmm. She went to the club and danced, danced with some friends. With some friends. Okay, as you may see, thank you. We have two groups. Si se fijaron, tenemos dos grupos de preguntas, two type of questions with the simple past. In the first group, we are going to find all of those questions that we can easily reply with a yes or a no. Es lo mismo que en el presente simple. Todas las preguntas que llevan el verbo to be, las puedo responder con yes and no. Lo mismo con el simple past. All of the questions that are using an auxiliary. In this case, the auxiliary did. I am going to answer those questions with yes or no. As you may see as well, we have the short form. Tenemos la forma corta, yes, I did. But in this case, we are not staying there. We are giving some extra information. Mira, aquí ya sería respuesta completa. Yes, I did. I worked all day. Right? And that's it. Depende de ustedes, quieren dar short form or complete form, it is up to you. Second group, el siguiente grupo, todas aquellas preguntas, all of those questions that are with this type of word. ¿Cómo le llamamos a este grupo de palabras? Who can remember? El what, where, how. Why? WH words. WH words. En este caso, cuando las hacemos preguntas, se convierten en WH questions, right? Can I reply a WH questions with yes and no? ¿Será que puedo responderlas con sí y no? What did you do on Saturday? Yes. How did you spend your weekend? No. Not really, no se pueden responder con sí y no. So, ¿cómo se le llaman a estas preguntas con WH word? Who knows, quién sabe. Information questions. ¿Por qué creen que se les llama así? ¿Por qué se les clasifica como information questions? Porque piden una información específica. Exactly, because we are expecting to receive information we cannot have a yes and no as an answer we are expecting to have information right así que este grupo de preguntas con la wh ya sea en el simple present or simple past se llama information questions no olviden eso se podemos decir que es porque son respuestas abiertas o son online exactly. porque yo no tengo esa información 
Ok, es okay. algo que le consulto a alguien más y espero recibir esa información back de regreso. Ok, that's why. En el caso de las, este otro grupo, el primero es bien, creo que hasta se podría saber la respuesta. Yes and no. Ok, es como más certero, más específico. Yes and no. But in this case, ¿qué hiciste es el sábado? Si les pregunto a cada uno, what did you do on Saturday? Varían las respuestas. No va a ser la información que tal vez yo esté esperando recibir, right? So, what did you do on Saturday? And we have this formula, the WH word. Look, and after that, we have the auxiliary. Siempre se usa el auxiliar. Pero no porque lleve un auxiliar, lo puedo responder con yes and no. Mm -mm. Porque ¿qué es lo principal acá? Look. The WH word. Pero eso sí, la misma regla aplica. Como tengo un auxiliar, look. ¿Qué va a pasar con la? Con el verbo principal. With the main verb. It's not going to change. So, in this case, lo que no cuesta es formular la pregunta. Cuando doy respuesta, ahí sí. I need to have that um, reply using the simple past of verbs. Okay? Questions about this. Preguntas. Hemos comprendido esta parte. Can we go to the practice right now? Pregunta, chicos. Let me listen to you. ¿Entendimos los dos grupos de preguntas? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. You did? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. ¿Quién me puede resumir los dos grupos de preguntas? How can I know what I am going to use? ¿Cómo sé que, cómo responder, cómo identifico las preguntas? No idea, teacher. So don't worry. Let's go to practice. Don't go that far here. If you go to the platform, for sure you are going to practice what we have discussed right now. Look, what do we have here? We are going to practice the same structure, giving an answer for those questions. How do I know? ¿Qué va al inicio? In this case, I have this blank right yeah. here. And I have this other blank that is followed by a verb. So how do I know this? Number one. Did you stay? Did you stay? Did you stay, Did you stay home on Saturday? Great job. So let's do this practice. Le voy a enviar en grupos ahorita y quiero que respondamos el 2.4 because it's a little bit long. Tenemos 10 ejercicios. Is it 5 minutes okay? Right? ¿Será que responden en 5 minutes? Yes? No? Yes, yes teacher. Yeah, teacher. This yes, is yes, a yes. piece of cake. Yes, so go. Voy a estarlos <laughs> escuchando y luego volvemos. 5 minutes. Los envío en grupos. Groups of three. Go, please. ¿Qué ejercicio es? Let me, let me go back. 2.4. 2.4. 2.4. Yes. That's the one. Um, si pueden compartir pantalla, será muy útil para que sus compañeros se guíen. So, here we go, class. Let's go. Go with your classmate. Excellent. I'm still missing Alexander and Linda, and that's it, right. Go with your classmates, please. Excellent. Did you get the invitation, Linda?
solo nosotros dos estamos, pero. Esa es la presentación de la pantalla. Ok. Yo no he contestado esto. Número one. ¿Cómo utilizaremos did you? El verbo no. No tiene que utilizarse en pasado. Entonces es lo que habíamos hecho actualmente. You stay. El verbo queda en su... Base, ¿verdad? Sí. Base four. Did you stay home on Saturday? Just mute your microphone. María Dolores. Your microphone is mute. Ah, perdón, ahorita. Te yeah. decía. Yo. No. I didn't. Sería el último. Did y stay. El último circulito, el tercero, o sea. No, I didn't call. Estamos negando. Number two. Number two. Number two, sí. No, I didn't call. With. Ah. Sería. No. Uh -huh. I didn't. Y el otro es drop. Sería el primero. Oh. Ah, en el okay. número dos, pero sería el primer, en la primera okay. opción. Ok. I didn't, I didn't go y drop, el, el verb. Drop. Number okay. three. Three. Oh, three. Number three sería how. Three. How. How did. En. Ajá, sería este, yo lo tengo como el último de, del número. Sería para uh, Enjoy the noise. I have enjoy. Uh, no sé cuál es. No sé si es la, esa, la última. Esa es I, ah, no, la primera. I porque had, dice, I no had like. enjoyed, didn't like this noise. Ajá, es la una, ¿verdad? Ajá, es la primera. Porque allí no está usando eh, deal, no está usando auxiliar, en por lo tanto cambia el verbo. Ajá, está bien. La otra es what, 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 did, what, did, what did, did you do? What did you do? What Ajá, did la you primera. Do? Sería la primera. Mm -hmm. La sería no 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 sería went y loved sería la última porque es no lleva ajá, no lleva ningún auxiliar sino que sería el verbo en pasado exactly went y loved ajá eh, la siete sería eh, did you do la segunda did you do Exactly, uh -huh. anything special. Uh, la ocho sería, yes, I, I did. 
Uh, I did once. I did once. Spend. La dos. La dos, la dos. Spent. No es la primera, supongo. Ajá. Ah, no, pues no. Entonces es la segunda porque lleva did, lleva un auxiliar. Ajá, okay, sí, yes. sí. Yes. La nueve right sería... Did uh, is sing. Deal, sing. Deal, sing. Deal, sing. No, porque usamos deal, deal estamos usando un auxiliar, por lo tanto no cambia el verbo. Ah, es cierto. Deal. Yes. Ajá, y no, I, I no, didn't. I didn't, I was sick, I didn't. Did you finish? No, you didn't finish? Sí, ahí lo tenemos, solo que yo estaba compartiendo porque no les carga, pero a mí me why lo traduce. Is, why, ajá, exactly. Why is it in Spanish? Pero en el teléfono lo estoy haciendo de con... Yeah, yo creo, creo que... que... Como... Muy bien, igual en español sería más difícil para mí. Sí, para mí también, por eso lo tengo en el teléfono. Right, pero usted puede cambiar esa configuración, ahí está en la barra de, de dirección. Aquí. Uh, más, ahí, 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 exactly, ahí. Let me show you where. Si se puede modificar eso. Ahorita. Right here, look, acá. No sé si ve mi flechita. ¿Dónde? Ahí. No la veo. <ríe> no, no la veo. Ok, vamos a anotar entonces. Ahí puse una flechita verde. If not, right here. ¿Acá? Ah, yeah. Yes. Ahí está. Y ahí quitemos el cheque de traducir siempre del inglés. That's it. Muy bien, let's go back. Volvamos ya al grupo. You did a great job. Gracias. Go back. Excelente. Ok, time to come back. How was this exercise? Did you feel it easy, difficult? How was this exercise? Let me go ahead and check it. Vamos a ver, siempre que resuelvo un ejercicio, please, tienen que justificarse porque hay algunos que perfecto. Me gustaba cómo se justificaba, ¿ok? No, we have did. Por eso el verbo tiene que quedar en la base form. Me encantó escucharlos trabajando en grupo. So, what did we say about this one? It's a question. So, which is the correct one? One, two, or three? Which class? Mm -hmm. Three. 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 Okay. There we did go. you stay? Did and stay. Solid. Did and stay. That is the only one. Ivan, this is for you, number two. Number two. One, two, or three. No. One. Okay, can you read the reply, please? No, I didn't call. My friend withdraw to a coffee for lunch. That's okay. So, no, I didn't call. Muy bien. We draw. What is the pass of drive? Draw. 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 Let me see. Jose Alberto, luego sigue Maritza y luego Karina Alejandra. Go, please. Jose Alberto, this is for you. Number three. Yes. How, how did you, you spend your last birthday? Spend or spent? Spend. Great job. How did you spend? And how do you spend your last birthday, Maritza? 
Elisa. Um, I, quiero ver. I had and you didn't like the noise. Bueno, vamos por parte. I, miren, aquí llega la primera oración. I, what is the past of have? El pasado have. de have. I have. have. I exactly. have. No tengo ningún auxiliar, entonces paso inmediatamente al verbo en pasado. I had. Segunda parte de la oración. Right here. I have. Everyone. ¿Cuál es el pasado de enjoy? What is the past of enjoy? Enjoyed. 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 Ay, ¿Cómo pronunciamos enjoyed? Enjoyed. 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 ¿Se acuerdan de esas reglas o no? Si no, se las traigo mañana. Do you still Por remember favor. those? <laughs> okay, so, which is the correct one? Dígame, one, two, or three. Which is the correct one? Number one. Number one. Didn't like. ¿Qué opinan, chicos? Didn't like. No, 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 no. No, 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 Yes, the second one. This one is the correct one. ¿Y por qué no puede ser la número tres? Why not? Porque el verbo like está modificado y cuando lleva auxiliar no se puede modificar. In this one, in number three, en la tres? No, it's not the verb like. No. ¿Por qué no puedo tener esta? Because of this one. The verb enjoy is in the base form. Right. Yes. Number five. Excellent. Karina. Mm. What did you do last night? Okay. What did you do? Eh, Carmen Lisette, number six. Mm -hmm. Carmen Lisette, which is the correct one? One, two, or three? Perdón. Um, opción. Which is the correct one? One, two, or three. C. Oh, letter C, that's all right. Letter C. But why not this one? ¿Por qué no esta se lleva locked? Porque viene Goel. Ajá. Y el pasado de Goel. Oh, that's right. Me encanta como justifican. That's right. That's correct one. Go with. I don't know what that is, right? So let me see. Luis Eduardo. Luis Eduardo and then Maria Dolores. Go, Luis. Okay, Number seven. 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 Did you do anything special over the weekend? Uh -huh. uh, second. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Mm -hmm. Yes or no, Maria? Who was next? Maria era la siguiente, ¿verdad? I guess, Maria Dolores. No, I guess, yeah, she was the one. You're mute. Your microphone, please. We cannot hear. Or do you, class? No, right? We cannot. I cannot hear. No, we cannot. So don't worry. Probably you're having some when? issues. So she's having some issues. Yes, tell me. Which is the correct one? Did and? Yes, I did. Then we have the second part of the response. I went me. tell me okay there you go tell me ahora sí le escuchamos hoy sí vaya perdón se me había trabado con el micrófono okay don't worry yes this one okay uh, yes i did I went shopping unfortunately. No, I unfortunately. 
Unfortunately, final, I spent all my money. Now I am broke. Uh, option <laughs> one. Option number one. I spent all my money. Now I am broke. Wow, interesting. Number nine. ¿Quién me falta? ¿Quién no ha hablado en la clase ahora? Let me see. Esmeralda, there you are. Thank you, Esmeralda, number nine. Okay, uh, did you sing at the party? Okay, so this is the correct one. Did you sing? Mayra Xiomara. Oh, okay, if Mayra is not there, then you're going to participate, Jose. Okay. No, I don't. I didn't. Which I one? One. Why not this one? Porque aquí se viven también. Why not? Porque estaba mal contractado. There we go. There we go. So, no, I didn't. 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 I was sick. Didn't. Mm -hmm. Saben que es una forma corta. El haven't, didn't, se pronuncia en una sola sílaba. No va en dos. Didn't. No, -uh. didn't. Right? So, let me go ahead and check this one. ¿Cómo sintieron este ejercicio? How did you feel it? Easy or difficult? It was easy. It was easy, right? Lo que les está costando es la pronunciation. Voy a traer mañana esas reglas con los uh, regular verbs para que las recuerden, ¿ok? O por lo menos se las comparto para que practiquen. Questions, preguntas. What do we need to do? We need to practice. That's it. There's no other way. We really need to practice these rules. You need to go and practice by reading or by using those verbs. So let me see. Será que es el único ejercicio con el pasado? I'm not sure. No, tenemos también este. We have the 2.6. This is a listening practice. How about this one? Oh, esto lo vamos a ver mañana. También es pasado, pero the past of verb to be. Okay? So, preguntas. Antes de irnos, tenemos un minutito. Questions, comments. ¿Qué necesitan repasar? ¿Qué necesitan con el simple past? Para traerlo a la clase. ¿Qué necesitan? Tell me, please. Nada. For me, the pronunciation. Mm. The Pronunciación de qué específicamente? Ah, the regular, regular verbs. verbs. Yes. Ah, muy bien. It's a little difficult. Pero verdad que lo vieron en el módulo anterior. Yes. You did? Ok. Sí, sí es que yes, recuerdo okay. que en el pre-intermedio uno se ve ese tema. Ok, so please. Vamos a traerlo mañana. Don't worry. Para que se sientan más seguros. Creo que la estructura del DID la manejan. La manejan muy bien. Saben la lógica de las preguntas. Lo que nos cuesta es pronunciation. So, class, don't worry. We are going to practice that tomorrow, okay? Thank you, class, for coming, participating. Okay, Thank We you. We are going to continue okay, tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Bye. Take care, everyone. Same to you. We are going to continue tomorrow. Bye-bye, class. Tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night.